In this video, we're going to take a look at five very different emotional states that your dog can be in and how to interpret them by the angle of your dog's tail. Those five states are fearful, calm, confident, excited, and highly alert. Being able to interpret quickly and with a high degree of accuracy any dog's emotional state is very useful as it gives you a good indication of that dog's intentions. So here's a dog who's fearful. As you can see, the tail is bent right underneath. If we freeze it there, you can hardly see the tail. It's curled so far under. This is her first day at doggy daycare, and she's just arrived, so she's becoming accustomed to her new surroundings. But don't worry, here she is at the end of the day, and as you can see, she's a different dog. She's got a happy, waggy tail, and she's getting involved with all the other dogs. Now here's a dog who's got a calm tail. If you take a look, if we freeze it, you'll see it's actually hanging below the horizontal. If you're walking your own dog and you can get its tail to hang like this, you're doing very well. If you see other dogs on the walk and their tails are like this, then there's not too much to worry about. They're calm and relaxed. Now here's some confident dogs. There's a two-year-old male Neapolitan Mastiff Cross and my dog called Peanut. If we have a look at their tails there, that's a confident dog. All the dogs here have been very well socialized. They've all got very good dog communication skills. So when they start playing like this, even though there's a very big dog playing with my little one, I'm not worried or concerned. I know they all know how to communicate. Now here the dogs are going to have a bit of fun. It may look like it's getting out of hand, but have a look at their tails. They're not bolt upright. And it's because I'm able to interpret the dog's energy and emotional state from the tails that I'm confident there's no trouble brewing at all here. They're just having a bit of fun, and then it's all going to calm down. Okay. So she knows how to tell him off. And so this, if you see his waggy tail, it's a low tail. Mm -hmm. It's a very low energy, it's, a, it's, a, it's high energy, but it's not bolt upright. Yeah. So that's a classic example of a happy dog who's, he's a little bit out of control. He's being a little bit of a rascal, but he's not, my dog's got the more, the more upright tail. She's the one who's actually saying, I'm more confident and dominant. And she's just going to say, I will put you in your place if you become an idiot. But she says, I can also see that you haven't got a bad bone in your body. You're all good. And look at him. He's just saying, let's play, let's play, let's play. Now here we're going to have a look at a dog whose tail tells us, that it's far more alert. This is a far more dominant dog. And if we freeze it there, you can see the angle of that tail's far more upright. This is a dog that's far more likely to challenge. It's very confident, self-assured, and less likely to back down. On the walk, it's the same thing. Both their tails are upright, and together these two are a force to be reckoned with. If we freeze it just there, you can see that both tails are almost vertical. The great thing is though, dogs can change so quickly, and if you have a look here just a few minutes later, you'll see they're in a totally different state with the tails hanging straight down. Dogs come in all shapes and sizes, however, few things are as helpful in understanding a dog's behaviour as the dog's tail. This little dog here is on high alert, look at his bolt upright tail, however it doesn't mean he's being aggressive, he's just on high alert, he's having fun, he's playing. If you're interested in learning more about dogs, I'd love to help. Take a look at my website, doggydan.co.nz, and if you're interested, give me a call.